Hi, today I'm going to give you a quick overview of the new Cash App Pay button. This button was just released yesterday during Square's Unbox conference, uh, and this is now available for third parties like us at Payable Apps to enable our sellers who are using Square um, as their payment provider to have this new button on their checkout page. I wanted to show you how we've integrated it already and it's live, and I wanted to walk you through the customer journey and a little bit of the benefits of how it can work for you. So, um, if you've already used payable forms or payable apps before, you know we have one of the easiest ways to uh, convert a Google form into a Google payable form. And uh, you should go check out our other videos for a walkthrough of how to get it set up. But this video today is gonna focus on the Cash App Pay button and what it does. So you can see here, this is uh, just a simple form and I'm gonna fill this out with um, just a basic item and a red extra item and one of these. Generally, as long as you're creating an order that is not a subscription, what you'll see is after you transition to the checkout page, we leverage the Square Web Payments SDK to uh, embed the credit card payment buttons as well as the Apple Pay and Google Pay buttons into our checkout pages. So this is what your checkout page would look like if you were a Square seller. So I have a Google Pay button here at the top and I also have um, this form is in test mode. So this big block is telling me that it's in test mode. You can see I have my credit card input. And as of about yesterday, uh, which is May 13th, 2022, we now have the uh, Cash App Pay button here. And so this will pop up for Square sellers that are located in the United States, selling in US dollars, and um, are not doing subscriptions today. So fundamentally one-time transactions, you will now see the Cash App Pay button. Cash App Pay has two different experiences. There's a desktop experience and then there's a mobile experience. Generally, it's designed for anyone that's using Cash App to make it quick and easy for them to use their payment method stored or any balance to pay you as a seller. Transaction fees are equivalent to what you would pay if somebody uh, copy and pasted a credit card in and paid you with credit card. So if you're a Square seller, um, you're used to accepting funds and paying their transaction fees, it would be identical tra transaction fees today. Uh, to that. Now, um, when you click the Cash App Pay button, what's going to happen is a QR code is going to pop up and you could scan that uh, with your Cash App on your um, iPhone. So most people, if you're on a desktop, your phone is usually sitting really close to you if it's not uh, you know, on your desk. So you would uh, pick it up, use that Cash App Pay app and scan the code. In sandbox mode, you use your camera on the phone. So I'm just going to pull out mine. Yeah, I know you can't see me, but I'm gonna use my camera to scan this code. And it will take you to a little mock website where you can approve the transaction in test mode just to make sure everything is working. So I'm gonna hit approve. And you can see that it was completed and it will return to the site and it will say charging cash app as we finish the payment transaction. Thank me and then return me to my receipt page. You can see here uh, the payment me method is labeled as wallet, and so wallet is the cash app with, was the wallet that was used, but generally that would be the payment method label. Um, and then you get a transaction ID exactly like you would with anything else. So if you were logged into your Square Seller dashboard, you would see this transaction just like any other transaction. You could click refund on it, um, you could look at the details, it works just like a regular credit card transaction. So you do not need as a seller to have a Cash App account. The buyers will use their Cash App account and the money will flow into your Square uh, account just like a normal transaction. So that's really quite cool. Um, when you're on an, uh, a mobile device and you hit the Cash App button, it will switch right over uh, while you're using your mobile device without you having to scan a QR code. So it will app switch from your browser into the Cash App app where you can approve it and then return you back to the receipt page. Um, and that's about it. It's super easy, really good for uh, any seller that deals with young um, kids or people who are hip, uh, you are always using Cash App and maybe have money in their Cash App account uh, that is more disposable and more likely for them to have make up easy purchase. So I hope that helps. And um, if you see the Cash App button appear on your payable forms checkout, uh, don't panic. Everything is set up and, and working as expected. So I hope that's helpful to you. And uh, check out our other videos if you've never used payable forms before and you want to get uh, set up and going. Cheers.